Well, the cost of becoming an Olympic athlete for one U.S. speed skater training here in Salt Lake, it was a plea for funds after applying for food stamps. Yeah, but her story is only one of many as Olympic hopefuls try to juggle training and trying to pay the bills at the same time. Dan Rascone is covering this story and joins us live. Very tough schedule. Dan, and these athletes, they certainly are juggling an awful lot to make this happen. Yeah, they really are, Mark and Sean. You know, it's one of those schedules that uh, none of us could probably even keep up with for a few days, let alone for months on end. In. These athletes training all day long, and then they go off to work, and then they have to pay some of their bills. Five o'clock in the evening, and 27-year-old Patrick Meat is starting yet another workout. You try to flush out the legs. Patrick is an Olympic athlete, and he just came here <laughs> from the Utah Olympic Oval in Kearns, where he is training to make the 2014 U.S. Winter Olympic speed skating team. He arrived at the Oval at 7.45 in the morning, one of 40 athletes on the team who spent an entire day training. <laughs> and after the workout is done... It is uh, 7.06. I'm at the Waldorf Astoria in Park City. It's off to work. I'm a valet, so I uh, park your car, I uh, open the doors for you, so anything you need. Patrick and the other athletes do get a stipend from U.S. speed skating, but it's not enough to cover all the expenses. Even though I'm an Olympic athlete, I'm not LeBron James. I don't have a billboard up in Times Square, so I need to find a way to pay the bills. And the Team USA Career Program with uh, Hilton Honors and ADECO uh, gives me the ability to help pay some of the bills that aren't covered by my uh, direct athlete uh, support. For U.S. speed skater Emily Scott, she went to GoFundMe.com to try and cover her expenses. She reported that her stipend was cut from $19.50 a month to $600 and had to go on food stamps. Her story was picked up by USA Today and within days has raised nearly $45,000. Patrick says the athletes are all in the same boat. We're just trying to make ends meet and I think it kind of opened the people's eyes to the fact that Olympic sport athletes don't make NBA money. And when you have your eyes set on Sochi, Russia in seven months, sacrifices must be made. Yeah. Thank you, sir. It's a busy day, but I'm very fortunate to be able to pursue my dream. Yeah, I don't know how he does it. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Have a great evening. Yeah, it is pretty amazing how he does it. You know, when Patrick gets off work tonight, he gets up again tomorrow morning, 5.45. He checks in at 6.15 in the morning for a four-hour bike ride. But it's the cost they must pay, pay to get to the Olympics there. Olympic trials start on December 27th. For more information about this story, also how you might be able to help out U.S. speed skaters, you can go to our website, KUTV. Com. Yeah, Mark, and, we, and we hate to get up in the morning. <laughs> His day starts yeah. a lot yeah. earlier than ours. Exactly. Sure. That's right. <laughs>